How's it going everyone and welcome to a Fallout New Vegas ENB installation guide where I'm going to be showing you step by step how to install an ENB for Fallout New Vegas. After the massive amount of attention that my previous Fallout New Vegas modding guide drew from many people in the community, I got a lot of people coming to that video not knowing how to install any of the ENBs that I showed off in that video, so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I also do have another guide in the works on how to install mods for Fallout New Vegas, however for that guide I was using Vortex mod manager and I eventually ran into a very bad technical issue which made me have to halt the video but once I get that fixed I'll finish up the video and put it out because that's something that I know a lot of you uh, beginners in uh, modding your game want to know about as well and it's been a good few weeks since I had to halt the video because I just haven't found a fix to the problem even with the updates that have come out for vortex mod manager since it is in an alpha stage so it's probably not going to be out for a while but for now I'm just going to be showing you how to install an ENB for Fallout New Vegas as this is also something that a lot of people want to know about since as many of you know New Vegas isn't a very pretty looking game and uh, many of us who are on PC playing the game of course are going to want to download an ENB for the game to really spice up the graphics on a whole nother level. But before we get into the tutorial I just want to let you guys know that there will be timestamps in the description so you guys can navigate to different parts of the video as I will be showing you quite a few different things when it comes to fully setting up an ENB and making it work really well in your game. So that may be something you'll want to look at in case you find some parts of this video to be quite slow. So without further delay, let's get right into it. So what you're going to want to do is go to the ENB dev website and you want to locate the Fallout 3 slash Fallout New Vegas ENB series download, but I'll leave a link in the description just for convenience so you don't have to locate it yourself. But once you're at this page, you want to go down here where you see all these different versions and you want to click on the latest version. For me, currently, it's version 0.322. So you want to click on it and then you want to scroll down to the download button. And then once ENB series is downloaded, extract it. So once you extract ENB series, you're going to see three things in the folder, injector version, wrapper version, and just the uh, link to the ENB dev website. Now you're going to want to open the wrapper version. You're only going to use the injector version if the wrapper isn't working correctly for you, but everybody should use the wrapper version. This is the proper uh, version of ENB that you should use to be able to run ENB presets. So open the wrapper version and you want to grab two files out of here, the d3d9.dll and the ENB host. These are going to be the main things that allow ENB presets to function in your game. And what you want to do with these is copy and paste them into your Fallout New Vegas directory, which I have it saved as a shortcut on my desktop, but if you don't know where that is, it is on your main drive or wherever you had the game installed, program files x86, steam, steam apps, common, Fallout New Vegas. And this is your main directory where you're going to be putting these ENB files. So you want to copy and paste the d3d9.dll into your Fallout New Vegas directory. I already have it, so it's just going to ask me to replace it. And then same thing with the ENB host, copy and paste it into your Fallout New Vegas directory. Again, I already have it, so it's going to ask me to replace it. And then once you have those two files in your directory, you are ready to start installing an ENB preset. So now we're going to head over to the Nexus and we're actually going to find an ENB preset to download. Now there's a lot of different ENB presets that you can download, it just really depends on your preference. But you can either look up ENB in the search bar up here, just to see a bunch of different ENB presets. And then you're going to see all the different uh, ENBs that you have to download. But what you can also do is scroll up to mods, mod categories, and then you can filter ENB presets to just find ENB presets in case there's an ENB that you're looking for that doesn't have ENB in the name. You can always do that too. But again, there's a lot of different choices here. There's a lot of different ENBs that you can choose from. It really just depends on your preference. So once you choose an ENB preset that you like, I think personally I'm going to go for ENB of the Apocalypse. This is one that I haven't used much at all, so I thought it would be a good thing to try. 
But once you find an ENB of your preference, you know, whether you like cooler colors, warmer colors, more washed out colors, there's a lot of different ENBs on the Nexus for New Vegas and one that should suit everyone's needs. So once you're on the ENB page of the ENB that you want to download, you want to go to the file section right here. And there should be a download at the top, and usually it's a manual download, but there's some ENBs for some odd reason that have a mod manager download, but you always want to do a manual download. We just want the files for the ENB. If you try to install it through a manager, then it's not going to install into the game properly, and you're not going to see the effects happening in the game. So once you extract your ENB, you're going to see a set of files that look something like this. And what you're going to want to do is just simply copy them and paste them all into your Fallout New Vegas directory, just like we did with the ENB series files. And then once you have all those files pasted, they should be working in your game. Now before we actually get to testing the ENB in game, one thing that I wanted to show you is lighting mods. Now lighting mods when combined with an ENB can drastically change the look and most of the time improve the look of your ENB. And if we download something like realistic wasteland lighting right here and combine it with whatever ENB you're using, it could totally change the outcome of how your ENB looks. So I would highly recommend downloading a lighting mod along with your ENB. FNV Realistic Wasteland Lighting is a pretty good lighting mod, but there is another one out there known as Nevada Skies, which also comes with weather, but it doesn't work well with all ENBs. So depending on what ENB you're using, I would recommend playing around with the different lighting mods and seeing which one works well with your preset. Now another two mods that I would recommend installing before playing with an ENB in your game is the FNV 4GB Patcher and NVAC or New Vegas Anti-Crash. And what these two mods are going to do is make your ENB run a lot more smoother in your game because installing an ENB on top of New Vegas' really unstable engine is going to give you a really hard time playing the game with an ENB installed. So having these two mods is going to ensure that the game is stable enough to run an ENB. I'm not going to be showing you how to install these mods in this video since this is just an ENB installation tutorial, but what I would recommend doing is going on YouTube and looking up a New Vegas stability guide, as there are some really good tutorials out there on how to stabilize your game, and these two mods are for sure to be mentioned in one of them, so I would recommend looking into that if you have no idea how to install these mods. And then lastly, a tool that I use a lot and one that I would recommend to all of you ENB users is ENB and Reshade Manager. Now you can find ENB and Reshade Manager on the Skyrim Special Edition Nexus. However, that doesn't mean that this just works for Skyrim Special Edition. This actually works for Oblivion, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition, Fallout 4, and The Witcher 3. So this does support six or more like seven different games. So what you want to do is go to Files and download this. But once you've downloaded the EXE, you just want to double click it and you're going to see all the games that it supports. You just want to click on Fallout New Vegas. And you might get these hiccups from here and there. This isn't going to break the application or anything. You just want to keep clicking continue whenever you see one of those errors. But then it's going to bring you to all these different sets. And pretty much what these are are different spaces where you can save ENB presets. There's up to 50 of them. And if you like an EMB preset that you have, but you want to switch it out, but don't want to lose your previous one, you can just save it in here by going to an empty space and clicking save. And let's just say I want to save this as EMB of the Apocalypse, since that's the one I installed. And then pretty much what this is going to do is save all of the ENB files that it detects currently in your directory into a space and you can click on the config right there and it'll bring you to all the files that that ENB is using. And if you want to load a certain preset, like let's say I want to load my blackout preset, you just click the load icon. And it's going to load all those ENB files that you saved previously into your directory and replace the old ones. Let's say I want to switch back to ENB of the Apocalypse. Again, you want to click Load. And again, it's going to replace all of the previous files and load the ones that you loaded. So this is a very useful tool. I definitely recommend downloading it if you plan on installing a ton of different ENBs. This is a great way to manage them. And it's a great way to keep existing presets without completely getting rid of them. Now you're going to want to open up Steam and we're going to want to make some adjustments in here so that the ENB works properly in game. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go up to the top left corner where it says Steam, Settings, 
and then go to the in-game tab and make sure that your steam overlay is turned off where it says enable the steam overlay while in game you want to make sure that this is unchecked because if you do have the steam overlay on this is going to interfere with your enb for some reason the steam overlay interferes with enbs makes them look dark and oversaturated so you definitely want to make sure that this is off when you're running an enb so next what you want to do is open up your fallout new vegas launcher you want to go to options and we're going to be tweaking some stuff in here so the first thing you want to find is anti-aliasing and an isotropic filtering you want to make sure that these are off and the reason we want to keep these off is because that enbs have their own set of these options so you want to make sure that the game's base anti-aliasing and an isotropic filtering are turned off Next, what you want to do is go down to screen effects and make sure that HDR is on. If this is set to any other setting, then the ENB is not going to work properly, so just make sure that it's set to HDR. Then lastly, you want to go to the advanced tab, go to water, and make sure that water displacement is turned off. Then after you're done with that, you want to click exit. And after everything we've done, the ENB should now work in the game. So when loading up your game, you should see an ENB series watermark in the corner. As you can see from me, it says ENB series 0.322, that's the version that I installed. And it's going to show you the hotkey that you can use to open up the ENB menu. For me, it's shift enter, but it can be different for other ENBs. So once you've loaded up into the game, you should see that the ENB is working. You can make sure that it's working by opening up the console, just so you can pause the game and then you want to press shift enter and this should open the main ENB menu and you should see all this stuff right here this window might not be open if this window isn't open make sure you have the show shaders window checked but these are all your graphical options your use effect is under global right here and when you press this all your ENB effects turn off as you can see the game looks quite ugly turn it back on your ENB works again then you've got your bloom Lens, Adaptation, Depth of Field, Ambient Occlusion, Detailed Shadow, Sun Rays, and Sun Glare. Turning these off will turn off certain effects in the ENB. As you can see, the bloom does make quite a difference. The lens is, the, of course, the lens that pops up on the screen when you look at a uh, light source or the sun. It's not working for me right now, though. Your Adaptation is adaptation to certain light sources so if you have this off your camera isn't going to adapt to certain environments so when it gets really bright out and you have adaptation on your screen is going to get considerably darker and then turn bright again of course depth of field is the blur that happens when you look at certain objects a lot of people don't like this but personally i think it adds a touch of realism to any enb because it really is just representing a real life scenario if you do look at one object straight on everything else around it is going to blur out and i think it really does make the enb feel much more realistic so for example let me walk over to this rock right here and then let me look at it straight on and as you can see there's a blur around it. That's depth of field. Again, a lot of people don't like this. You can turn it off if you like. You can even save some performance if you turn it off. But personally, I like having it on. Ambient occlusion is the shading around certain objects. This isn't necessarily shadows cast by objects, but it's the darkness around certain objects that should otherwise have a shadow. So as you can see, if I turn it off, the game gets slightly lighter and there isn't as many shadows on the screen. But if I turn it back on, then you can see the screen gets a bit darker because there's more shadows appearing. I would definitely recommend having this on if you want the ENB to look the best. But if you want to save some performance, then you can just turn it off if you like. Detailed shadow is similar to ambient occlusion as it does act as a shadow for many objects, but it doesn't cover as large of an area. It's going to cast solid shadows of objects. So as you can see, if I turn it off, you're going to see that the grass doesn't cast shadows anymore. But if I turn it back on, the grass starts to cast shadows again. So again, these are solid shadows. This isn't like dark shading around objects that should otherwise be there. These are literal shadows that are cast by objects. And then sun rays and sun glare are pretty self-explanatory. If you look up at the sun and you turn off sun rays, you're going to see less of the sun. And sun glare is just going to turn off the glare that happens when you look at the sun. So that's just a little tour of the ENB menu for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Now if you notice that your game crashes when you try to run it with an ENB, that's probably something with your graphics drivers. I noticed that if I didn't have my graphics drivers up to date, the game would crash. So definitely make sure that you have your graphics drivers up to date. 
It could also be because you didn't install the performance mods that I showed you earlier in the video, because ENBs can be very unstable if you don't have the 4GB patch. So anyway, that is how you install an ENB for Fallout New Vegas. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more Fallout content like this, then be sure to subscribe. And if you run into any issues or need any help, then be sure to leave a comment and I'll try my best to reply to every single one of you. But until then, I'll be seeing all of you next time.